Muhammad from the UK. Uh, salam. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, please explain what we should do when the time of the re the remaining time of the current prayer is too short to meet the conditions, such as doing ablution or covering the body or the major ritual bath. On Islam Kiway, uh, they quoted Ibn Taymiyyah from his explanation of uh, Al Umda as saying that it's more important to fulfill the condition of praying on time than any other condition. But he said it. But he said if a person purposely delays, then he has to fulfill the condition, even if it means missing the time. So I'd like to know what each of the following people should do. The one with an excuse, the one who delayed but would have made it on time, but then something occurred out of their control. And the one who delayed with no excuse until they, they knew there wasn't enough time to meet the conditions, such as doing ablution. Okay, basically, people. basically, Muhammad, this requires a long explanation in a nutshell. If you wake up late and there is one minute for the sun to rise and you have to answer the call of nature and you have to put on your clothes and you have to face the Qibla and pray, you have to do this even if the sun rises. And you're excused because you have a reason. You have a legitimate reason. You are asleep. If you deliberately delayed the prayer until there was a minute left and then you want to do tayammum, so that you would catch one rak'ah before the sun rises. No, this is not valid. It's your mistake, it's your sin, and your prayer is invalid because you delayed it purposely. If it was beyond your ability and unintentionally, it takes the same ruling as waking up late and Allah knows best.